Hey, what's going on everybody? So now that I've got the uh, customer type of projects mostly out of the way, I'm going to start to do some of my own stuff here. Starting off with this little itty bitty project. For those that don't know, I am into uh, PC gaming. I don't get to do it very much, maybe like once a week or something like that, but uh, I do enjoy computer building. I'm not a professional at it by any means, but uh, it's a fun little hobby. I built an ITX rig, oh, earlier on this year, and uh, this is the lid off of my case, which is a Cooler Master 110 Elite. I'll put some pictures right here. So what I'm going to be doing today is a little bit of a color change here. Now as you saw the case comes all black and the Cooler Master logo is actually a button that is a blue LED. And uh, right there is two of my favorite colors, my third one being red. And what I want to do today is uh, take advantage of our hot weather, sand this guy down and uh, paint it red. And this is what I'm going to be using here. Now. This is not necessarily a how-to, this is just how I'm going to do it with my specific stuff I have here today. Some uh, masking tape so I can get the bottom side covered up. Some masking plastic, which I do not know where my paper is at the moment, so I'll just go ahead and use that stuff. A little chunk of 80 grit, some 180, 320, and some 600 wet. A scuff pad to get into all these little crevices here as best I can. And the uh, primer base and clear that we're using is, uh, you can pick this up almost anywhere. I didn't want to use something that uh, was hard to find. They do have like House of Color in a spray can, and then they have like the two pack clears in a can. I just wanted to use something that uh, anybody could replicate easily with little to no fuss. And just some rubbing alcohol for our clean. A couple of different blocks here, a little squeegee and a tack rag. Get that open. A little bit of an uh, older one, but uh, I didn't use this thing too much, so open it up, fold it to a new side, it'll be just fine. I almost forgot the most important thing. Respirator. You could probably get by with like one of those little paper masks, and if you're outside doing this, however, if you're not in a pretty decently ventilated area, just get, get one of these. Protect your lungs. So after a few minutes, this is what we're left with. I cleaned it off, found some other spots I had to rough up a little bit better. And again, I can't stress this, that this particular situation is not a how-to. This is more so how I'm doing it. If there is a desire for a how-to, I'll go ahead and throw one together. Um, I'm probably gonna wanna change the color again, but uh, we'll see. But anyways, this is where we are after we got done hitting with some 180. I'm going to go ahead now and flip it upside down, tape up all the inside of here, get it covered, and then we'll get this thing ready for primer. All right, so I decided just to put tape on everything. Uh, it's a lot easier to do it that way, and it's not like it used a whole lot. So this is where we are. I'm going to give this thing a clean off, and we'll get ready for primer. And 
Let's find a better spot. All right, so it's been, oh, I don't know, almost an hour, I think. And it's dry enough to tinker toy with it. I think I'm gonna try and uh, scuff it just a little bit and just see what's going on. And then uh, probably lightly wet sand it. And we'll get ready to paint pretty quick. All right, here's what it looks like. Wet sanded down to 600. Red primer is kind of weird to use, but uh, I figured red color, red primer. All right, let's give it one more once over. Get it cleaned up. Let's put some paint on it. All right, been sitting for about 20 minutes. Got three good coats of base down, and we're gonna rattle bomb it with some clear now. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I'll bring it out in the sun, we'll take a look at it. So I put it back together and brought it outside so we can take a better look at it. And then we'll take a look at it inside as well. I wasn't quite sure about the color, but uh, once I put the case back together, I'm pretty happy with that. It doesn't have like a deep gloss to it, but uh, I don't know, kind of has like an almost furniture vibe to it. I dig it. A little mini project for myself. Yeah, I like it. And here's a look at it inside. Definitely takes on a different vibe without the sun beating down on it. I'm really happy with that. Feels nice to uh, paint something even if it's just a little itty bitty thing like this for myself for once. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm happy with it. So if anyone's interested, I'll put uh, specs to this thing down below. You can see what I'm running. If you happen to game, 
I'll put my Steam account down below, add me as a friend. If we play the same game or whatever, hop online. Right now I'm playing uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Super huge open world game. Having a blast with that thing. And uh, if you're into Twitch or whatever else, my Twitch account is down below as well. Take a gander at that. If anyone is interested in uh, doing this to their own computer case and want me to make a how-to, let me know. I think I can convince my buddy Eric to uh, pull some panels off his computer. He has a uh, full size, so that would probably make a better demonstrational purposes, painting his case. But uh, yeah, all right guys, take care, stay safe. Catch you on the next one.